Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, I wanted to discuss something that's critical to every startup, to every human being. Um, there are some caveats with this video. I, there are some reasons I didn't want to make it. Um, I think generally, and this has changed over the last six months for me, but like I used to be a crazy penny pincher person. Um, a lot of that's because I wanted to be an entrepreneur and I've been like on this process of figuring out how to build something and your cash is your runway. And if you don't want to take venture capital, you don't want to take private equity, you don't want to take investor money, you've got to be really good with the money that you have. And that is a really strong skill to have as a business owner anyway, because when you can figure out how to make sales without spending millions on ads, it's uh, it's going to pay you um, compounding returns. So the reason that I was apprehensive about making this video is just because I don't want people to, this is something to turn on and off. Um, frugality is good, but like, I don't want anyone listening to this and then just living in this place of lack. Like I want you, you my hope for all of you that are watching is that you'd be able to start a successful business. It'll be able to pay for your lifestyle. And then some you'll be able to put, you know, money away, invest it into new things, reinvest it into yourself, most importantly, and you won't have to live paycheck to paycheck, you won't have to work 100 hours a week. Um, but my my objective is I, I wanna share this stuff with you to help you guys at this first chapter, but I don't want all of you living a frugal lifestyle forever because I want you guys to get to the place where you're living in abundance and you can share with other people and you're not penny pinching forever. Um, I think the mindset of frugality can be dangerous if you go too extreme with it, just talking from my experience, but let's jump in. Um, some of these things might be obvious to some of you, um, but I'm gonna share all of them anyway. There are probably more than this, um, but these are the top ones that I leverage in order to uh, to make my life work. So again, ca uh, my notes over here, so I'm gonna keep looking over this way as I read through these with you guys. But cash is runway, so you wanna make sure that you're preserving your cash. Um, I had, I've had so many mentors in my life say different things. I think Warren Buffett said something to the, maybe it was Tr Charlie Munger said, you make your money during the, in the hold, right? And then I had another friend of mine that was in the antique car business who recently passed away, unfortunately, but he, he used to say, you know, he'd buy these like $200,000 million old cars and he would say, you make your money when you buy. Um, and he was never like, a super hard negotiator and so that's like a, a weird skill to straddle if you're not a really hard negotiator and you're making your money when you buy i'm not quite sure how he did it but um cash is your runway and so you want to be thoughtful in how you're spending it and where you're investing it um so in terms of saving the first thing that's like the most obvious is promo codes right there are so many sites that have promo codes there's retail me not there's plugins that can like apply them for you um, in the next topic that I'm going to touch on, they have some plugins, Chrome extensions, Google Chrome extensions that literally will apply them for you. Um, I will say the one thing with um, promo codes is like, just don't give up, you know, like whether it's Panera Bread or whatever it is, just keep trying the ones that are on there. Maybe try a new site. Um, there's always, like I, a lot of people try one or two and then they kind of give up. I'm like obsessive if I'm like really invested, fallacy of sunk costs, I'll, I'll just keep searching for them until I can find one that works. And generally that's served me pretty well. Um, cashback sites. So one of my favorite cashback sites, it's an aggregator. Uh, I use, I've used a bunch of them. There's Ebates, there's Beefrugal, which I kind of use a lot. And then there's an aggregate site. So Cashbackaholic. What do I mean by aggregate site? What it does is, um, I wanted to use this example at the end because it's uh, kind of pertinent to the last point, but there was a piece of camera equipment that I wanted um, a couple years ago, and the site Be Frugal, which I typically use, didn't have that. They didn't have the retailer on it that I was going to purchase from. Um, I believe it was B and H. And so what happened was, I was like, "Darn it! Like, let me just see if any if B and H gets cash back anywhere. Maybe it's Ebates, maybe it's whatever. Cashbackaholic was a really cool site to go to where you can plug in." The, the place that has the product that you want at the lowest price, so it could be Best Buy, it could be B&H, you put them in and it'll show you all the places that give you cash back and first and how much, right? So like if you put in Best Buy, they'll show you the places that have the, the highest amount. You have to take into consideration some of them are new user specials and so this kind of stuff can make sense if you're doing a cruise or you're traveling or you're gonna buy a big ticket thing and you're, you wanna use Ebates for the first time, they might give you a bonus for your first 
cash back thing. And so that is a really good thing to look at, but you might not always get 10% back or 5%, whatever it is, their introductory offer. Um, cash backaholic is a great site to find which retailers are going to give you the most cash back for the thing you purchase. The next one is discount gift cards. Um, this is like freaking mind blowing because I, u- I still sometimes use Raise, R-A-I-S-E dot com. And when I first got Raise, Raise had, they were on Be Frugal. So you could get cash back for buying a gift card. Like th- this is mind blowing. It's like the inception of gift cards, right? So I would buy, let's just say a hundred dollar gift card to Panera Bread. It would be 20% off on Raise. Okay. And so I would get, um, 20% off. So I'm paying $80 to raise. And then I would get on the 80 that I spent with raise, I would use be frugal cash back site to get maybe 1% or 2% on that purchase. And so I started kind of applying them together and really getting a crazy amount of return on that. And those are like real numbers. Like you can, it's crazy the things that they have like flash sales on, but the site that I recommend for this, again, it's an aggregate site that I recently found called card bear card bear like the animal and it's really neat because it'll show you of all the puma gift cards of all the whatever gift cards it'll show you who has the um, highest percentage off and it's cool because some of these places are like somebody that got a puma gift card for christmas and they don't want it they can't do anything with it they're not going to use it Um, and then some of them clearly it seems like the retailer is you know supplying these sites with cards i don't know how all that works but you can go to card bear and you can find um who has the highest percentage off for whatever retailer you're looking for the last one is price matching so i used to really like best buy a lot i used to be a huge fan i would spend a ton of money there um as a w2 employee as an entrepreneur like i would spend a lot of money there and so i was like their elite plus super platinum five star like member um and then they recently like launched this whole like membership team program thing that I really despise. But, um, what was really cool about that was they were really, they treated me really good in terms of price matching. So when I will, when I make a big purchase at a retailer like Best Buy, um, my return window is now shorter. What I was getting at before when I was a premium, like Best Buy member, I had like a 90 day return window. And so in that return window, you were allowed to price match. And so if I bought something that was two, three thousand dollars, a TV, a camera, whatever, something for work, even if it wasn't for me, but it was for my company or a company that I worked at, I would go there and I would try to price match it to save the company or save myself or save whoever the difference in cost. And basically they would refund that um, to the original form of payment. So if let's say you got a MacBook and then all of a sudden it's November and like, you know, whatever, and you're still within the return window and it goes down 200 bucks, they would give you that 200 bucks back to the original form of payment. And so, um, I know Amazon says they don't really do this. Like a lot of sites, they like, it doesn't hurt to ask. Um, and so, especially if it's a really close time window, I, so it's something that I do a lot is like asking for price matching. Now, the last thing I want to, to talk about is stacking. And I kind of already touched on this, but like you can stack all of these things together, right? So you could get a discount gift card to Panera Bread. You could have gotten that discount gift card using um, a cashback site. You can then purchase something from Panera Bread on a cashback site. I don't know if they particularly are on a cashback site. You can then apply a promo code at checkout to Panera Bread while you're using that gift card that you already got cash back on. <clears throat> and so it's really crazy. Like I, there's purchases that I've been able to make on things that it's like maybe a hundred dollar pair of shoes that ended up costing like 18 or like I'll, you know, maybe get a salad at Panera Bread that's like, normally like 20 bucks because I'll add like double protein or whatever and it'll end up costing like net net like after all the gift cards and all the stuff like eight bucks and so I don't give you guys these things to just live a cheap sad life I give you guys these things to extend your money as long as possible to do the thing that you were put on this planet to do um, and so you can help as many people as you can help um, not just to live frugally (laughs) um, because like certainly when I make it like or I can figure out how to make one of my businesses work. I don't want to be in this position. I want to be in a position of abundance. I don't want to be in a lack mindset. And so I encourage you guys to do the same, but I hope these things serve you. I hope they help you. And that's it for this video.